get into this. All right. So welcome to Craft Enthusiast. My name is Ken. I am here today to actually share my podcast with you all. I um, have a knitting and crocheting. And then uh, my specific podcast is for knitting and crocheting. I um, am a crocheter, clearly. I have been crocheting since the early 90s. My mother was the one who first taught me how to crochet. And so she taught me a few basic stitches, such as um, the slip stitch and the um, single crochet and double crochet. And from there, I have kind of taken off. And so eventually I have learned to actually um, knit. I learned to knit back in early 2000. And for some reason, I literally thought like, okay, if I can crochet with one needle, then I can learn to knit with two. And um, yeah, I eventually did, but it took me some time. I literally did not know anyone who knew how to knit. And um, as I mentioned before, my mother was all, only a crocheter and sewer. And so, yeah, the struggle was real. So, <laughs> and I don't think YouTube was like, well, YouTube was like a thing then, but it wasn't like many knitting and crocheting videos as there are now. So you can learn all of these different stitches. Um, and so, and so, um, but now I have, learned i won't say that um, i am a beginner but i'm more so an intermediate uh, knitter and probably an intermediate crochet or maybe could possibly be an advanced crochet who you know um so i um this channel is for all things pretty much crafting for knitting and crocheting so if you are a lover of those two things then this is the channel for you all right, but let's get into this because I love yarn. I received an awesome um, set of yarn from Taylor Earl from Fiber for the People. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Let me show you what I received. Oh my goodness. And oh, before we get started, Taylor was so kind. She even signed the receipt saying, thank you. And she also included a um, tea, a, a bag of tea from um, this black tea pumpkin spice. I don't know if you can see that or not. Black tea pumpkin spice. Oh my goodness. I have not tried it yet, clearly. But it smells so good. And... I definitely will try this over the weekend sometime or maybe sometime throughout the week because I do love tea. The only thing is that it does say it contains caffeine and I try to stay away from caffeine, but um, I'm usually a decaffeinated tea drinker, but baby, this tea smells so good. That's going out the wind. I'm, I'm going to have to try that. I'm sorry. Um, but anyway, back to the yarn. So, I purchased a few skeins of yarn from Taylor. Um, one of which was the the one hundred percent superwash extra fine merino DK weight a DK weight yarn in the color sapphire. Oh my goodness, it is like a dark blue, blue, blue like dark. It's like a royal and like navy blue mixed together. I don't know if you can tell my lighting isn't so great. I probably should have tried to record this on my camera, but I'm using my phone right now. So, but um, this yarn is so beautiful. It's so soft. It smells really good. Um, I also purchased the Angel Rust. The 74% Baby Surrey Applica and 26% Silk Lace Weight Angel in the color Angel Rust. Oh my gosh, that is so beautiful. I saw her make a sweater with this yarn and I was like, I got to get that yarn because one, blue is my favorite color. 
um it's one of my favorite colors along with pink and i was like baby i gotta get this i'm sorry and taylor thank you so much because i really appreciate you shipping this out and it came really quickly because i was very very excited about receiving it so when it came in amelia so i was like oh my god thank you so um yes i um haven't decided what i'm going to actually knit with this as of yet taylor has like a a pattern for well no i don't think she has a pattern i think she knitted a sweater using both of these together and i just thought the combination of the two was just so beautiful and it was just like a basic raglan sweater i don't know the actual i don't recall the actual pattern name of the pattern but if i do i will actually include it but um yeah or a link to her video because it was just it was great awesome it was just a really nice sweater that she made with the the combination of the two and i just thought it was just looks really really nice and i am um i am um excited about trying out her yarn this will be my first time i've never purchased yarn from her before i think i tried before and i think i was like I had to like wait because she only like um um sold yarn on like certain days and so I think I tried before and everything was like sold out and I was like oh, I missed it so I went back and I um set my calendar to reminder to remind me to actually make the purchase so I did that and I luckily I was able to get some yarn from her and so I do have I did purchase enough where I can actually um most likely make a sweater out of all of these and so um maybe even a hat or something else I don't know I'm gonna figure it out um also I actually purchased some yarn as well from Pearl Soho last month was um, my birthday month and I was like I'm going to try my best to purchase some yarn from Pearl Soho now I think of Pearl Soho is located in New York they actually sell um, some lovely lovely yarns some lovely lovely yarns and they were one of the first companies that I ever purchased, like um, some some really 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 nice high luxury. Should I say luxury? I don't know if I would say that luxury yarns from. And so ever since way back in the day when I first purchased yarn from them, I always go back to seeing if they ever have any on sale. And just so happened on the week of Black Friday, they had a sale for like twenty five percent. 20 to 25 percent off on all of their yarns and i was like the, the devil is a lie I, I'm, I'm, I gotta get some of this so i ended up um uh, purchasing this um a few different types of yarn uh, one of which is this one here which i am pulling apart for some reason i don't know why but i purchased this yarn here this is the cashmere merino bloom and it is 75 percent extra fine merino wool and 25 percent cashmere oh my god and it is so soft i was like man as i mentioned before uh one of my favorite colors is um pink and I was like, I saw this yarn and I was like, I have got to get this color. And I am going to pair this yarn with the, the Tussock. This is the mohair yarn. And um, it is 60% fine kit mohair and 40% silk. I am going to pair the two and probably most likely make a hat out of it. Um, probably make like a hat or something out of this and so um, or maybe even some fingerless gloves or something like that because yeah I've never knitted with cashmere before it is a very expensive um, yarn 
And so, um, yeah, I'm going to try to figure that out. And I also got this Linen Cool Worsted Wig. It's a fine, 50% fine Highland wool and 35% applica and 50% linen. It is in the color turmeric yellow. Um, I thought this would be nice to make like a little uh, rugged hat with. And so um, I think I'm going to, to use this as well to make a hat. And I know, I know I'm mentioning hats. I mean, I have a few that I wanted to make. Um, I like to make like hats or either blankets or sweaters. Um, it just depends on the, my mood. But yeah, this here was a nice yarn. It's definitely not as soft as that <laughs> merino wool and uh, cashmere mix, but it is a nice like a mustard color or turmeric yellow color should i say turmeric yellow and um i um, will be using this to try to make a hat all right all right and then i also have some more i think this is a yarn from curl so hope this here is the line weight 100% merino wool yarn in the color red plum. I love this color. I um, they also gave me the um, <laughs> look. They also gave me a photo. This is the actual hat that I am interested in knitting with these two yarns this is a free pattern that's offered by pearl soho it's the simple pleasures hat and so i have actually made this hat already i actually made it in let me see here i actually made this hat already in um the line weight moreno wool this one color is blue jeans and blue forge i think it's like forge and i um knitted it i slightly changed the pattern just i mean a bit um the pattern calls for you to knit the ribbing portion of the hat with just the fingerling line weight yarn and not with the actual uh, merino, you know, not with the actual uh, mohair, but I did it anyway because I just love the feel of the actual um, mo, the actual mohair, and um, I don't know, I like mohair the way that it feels. If like it's soft and it looks kind of fuzzy, but I like that look on sweaters and hats, and so I knitted the entire hat in this and because also I had kind of plenty of it and even some left over even after I um, knitted this hat. So yeah, I, I, I really liked it. Now, don't get me wrong, when I cast on the stitches for this hat, I felt like the ribbing pattern was taking me forever to knit, but it actually was a very quick, quick knit and um, I like the hat. It was a very quick and simple knit. It's like a basic hat and I really like it. And so I initially was saying to myself like, oh, I'm going to get it in. I'm going to knit this in this actual red color. But then I saw the blue and I was like, you know, once again, blue is my, one of my favorite colors. I was like, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to knit it in blue and see what it looks like. And I thought this would be cute with like jeans or t-shirt and jeans. And so it was just like a really, really nice hat. And so I throw it on. I just thought it was like a really, really cute hat to wear. And so I, um, yeah, I knitted it up. And so I really, really liked it. And then so I ordered some more skeins 
of um, it in the color, as I said, Heather or Red Plum. <laughs> I think this is Red Plum, Red Plum. And I'm going to pair it with white boysenberry and make another hat in red. So the Simple Pleasures hat from Pearl Soho, it is free. If you like it, try it out. All right. So that was it for my, pretty much my purchases for this week. My purchases of yarn for this week. I uh, also have some projects that I did complete, as well as the Simple Pleasures hat. Um, I also have the Dream and Stripes, Dream and Stripes shawl that I knitted. I, um, said, um, uh, not really block it yet. It, um, this took me quite a while to actually knit. I actually don't even recall the yarn that I used to knit this because it was actually like an older fingerling wool like yarn that I used to knit this with that I've had in my stash for like some years. And so I never really did anything with it. I think I actually purchased the yarn from Pearl Soho but um, I never really used the yarn. And so I found it in my sash and I saw this Dreams and Stripes pattern, um, Dream, Dream Stripes pattern that I, uh, of Dream, and, Dream Stripes pattern that I wanted to make. And so I was like, wow, let me go ahead and use this, um, this yarn. It seems like I might have enough to actually make the uh, shawl. And so I did, and I mean, it is lovely. It's a very beautiful, beautiful shawl. And so this did take a while, but um, I'm not the fastest knitter, but it um, knitted up really nicely. And so, yeah, the dream is right straw, so. All right. Also, I actually completed a sweater. The sweater was by MJ, MJ's Off the Hook Designs. It was the top down Reglan um, crochet sweater. I actually purchased it in the same yarn that she had in the actual video. She used the Mary Max, Maxim Super Soft yarn and puppy fur and this is the sweater and yes i knitted this sweater it is so soft and comfy and it was it is very nice very beautiful but let me tell you this the the yarn itself was very difficult to work with um i don't know it, it's like i think it cost me about five or six dollars a skein and that yarn it's not beginner friendly do do not make this out of this yarn if you are a beginner because it is not beginner friendly um if you cannot rip this yarn back like you cannot frog you literally literally i started this and i made a mistake and i was like let me try to you know frog it back a bit no no you you can't do that with this yarn it's just unforgiving it just will not rip back so this is not a beginner pattern um, that in the MJ's off the hook designs, top down red line sweater is not a beginner. I won't say that it, that is a beginner, probably a good beginner intermediate pattern, but the yarn that she used is not beginner friendly. So don't please, if you are a beginner, 
please do not use that yarn. <laughs> I I don't recommend, I would say that please don't use it, but I would not recommend using that yarn. Um, the pattern is a great pattern. If you want to use another type of uh, bulk, kind of bulky uh, yarn, then feel free to try to, 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 to do that. But as far as this particular, if you are a beginner and you're just learning how to actually make a sweater or something like that, please do not use that particular yarn. All right. <laughs> so, yes. Um, also, I actually do have another a blanket. I actually have a blanket that I actually made. This will be my second blanket, maybe second or third blanket that I've already made this year. This here was the Easy Continuous Granny Square Blanket. Um, it is online. I can't remember the, the name of the lady who actually um, designed this, but it's pretty much a Granny Square Blanket. I don't know if, it's, if she actually designed this or she just was like teaching how to actually start off a uh, granny square blanket or not. But this here is it. It is huge. I made it with uh, Michael's, from yarn from Michael's, the Sweet Snuggles yarn. Um, I think everything except the teal, I think the teal is like a light, the light, everything else is like the regular Sweet Snuggles yarn. And um, this is here is definitely the second blanket that I made. The first blanket that I made, my mother actually uh, <laughs> was raving about that she really, really liked. And so I ended up giving it to her. And guess what she did? She didn't even use my blanket. She put it in one of those uh, uh, comforter packages and put it in a closet. But she raved about how much she wanted it. I really want it. I really like it. It's so beautiful. And she put it in a closet. But now, that after that incident, I said, okay, well, she took my blanket. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to make another. So I went ahead and I made this one because I thought it was really, I could make some, um, I could make it really quickly. And um, I could, I saw the pink and I was like, oh, you know, it's my color. So I was like, I could use the pink to make a pop. And I made it, and when after I made this one, she raved about it. Oh, it's so beautiful! I would really, really like to have it. I really, no, no, no. Mm -mm. You can't have this one. This one's this one's mine. So this here, I don't know if I can really hold it up so you can see. Is the easy granny square blanket? And so it took me about a few days to make and so um I actually look I actually made that and ran out of yarn and had to go back to Michael's and purchase the yarn or order it again so I kind of had to stop midway because I didn't have enough but um needless to say I ended up finishing it and it came out really beautiful and so I really 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 liked it um yeah and um let's talk about my whips i do have a whip uh my work in progress is the kinnigan cardigan let me and please don't mind me i put it in this tote bag because i actually was running over running out of the house and i was like i want to work on it at my brother's house and I threw it in the bag and I, this is not my needing bag, it's just a tote bag, so. All right, so I started the Kinnigan cardigan. It is made with Joann's Big Twist Natural Blend in the color of blush. I am about, I'm gonna say, almost 80% 85% to 90% complete and I still finish one arm of it 
and I have one more left and actually I found this pattern because I saw one of the videos where Taylor Earl actually had this sweater on and I was like oh my goodness I'm gonna have to try to make it it looks really really nice but um of course I think she needed it in like uh maybe some type of really really nice expensive kind of luxury yarn really really nice luxury that and I was like oh I'm gonna have to try and I have to try to knit it myself so I um couldn't find that yarn that she had so of course I found this yarn at Joann's and I was like oh this is really really nice so I think that'll work and so it pretty much did um don't have much left to it but plan on trying to finish it at least within the next week or so so once I finish it, I'll share it. All right. Other than that, that is it for me. Other than um, maybe on my next show, I did podcast. I actually did actually find some books, um, some knitting books that I like that I did order. And um, I can share those with you if you're interested in seeing those. And so, um, just let me know. All right. Thanks for watching.